Now then, how do? A very warm welcome to a bit more Yorkshire Brass once again. David Hoyle with you for another two hours of your fabulous brass band favourites. This is show number 122 in our online series. Lots of brilliant music to come. Thanks as always for your requests, dedications, etc. We started today with Bank Holiday, an appropriately named piece of music of course, as we are on a Bank Holiday weekend. Howard Snell's arrangement was played by the Ikanga Biosphic Music Lag. Two marches today which are not often heard because they're both signature marches. Mike in Diggle, thank you very much indeed for this particular choice. This is the signature march of your local band, the Diggle Band, written by Derek Broadbent. I've played this a few times when helping the Diggle Band out. It's called Stanage. <laughs> Thank you. 
the signature march of the Diggle Band. It's called Stanage. If you've ever been on a rail journey that travels through West Yorkshire towards Manchester in the Huddersfield direction, then you will pass through the big tunnel just as you've left Marsden and you come out at Diggle at the other end. It's about three miles long. It's spelt Standage, but it's definitely known as Stanage. I've seen it pronounced on TV as Standage as well. And I just sat there and went, how dare you? How dare you? This week's overture is chosen by Ken in Workley. This is a heritage recording, two of them today for you. This comes from 1967. John Harrison is conducting the Crossless Carpet Works Band on this recording, which was arranged for brass band by William Rimmer. The original melody was by Thomas Arn. Ken's choice for this week's overture, Rule Britannia. <laughs>
Across This Carpet Works band with that heritage recording of William Rimmer's arrangement of Thomas Arne's Rule Britannia. This week's overture was chosen by Ken in Wortley. I'll be honest with you, that is one of my favourites. I just think there's so much good stuff in there. It might be an old one, it might be on mucky brown paper, whatever. It's great to listen to, it's lovely to play as well. Thanks to Ken. Ken emailed yorkshirebrass at gmail.com. You can do the same with your requests or dedications. Jeff in Prescott in Merseyside is another who's been in touch on the email. Do you by any chance have a recording of an old cornet duet by John H. White called Dot and Carry? I can't find one anywhere, says Jeff. Oh, yes, um, we do, actually. And this, for me, is a really, really um, special recording. It features two of the finest cornet players ever in duet. They're playing with the Black Dyke Band, Richard Marshall, the current incumbent of the principal cornet seat at Black Dyke, and the great James Shepherd, the man himself, the legend, of course, with Black Dyke Band in the 60s and 70s. Let's have a listen to this lovely duet, Dot and Carrie. Thank you. 
Legends in Tandem. Richard Marshall duetting with James Shepard with the accompaniment from the Black Dyke Band. John H. White's Dot and Carrie was requested by Jeff in Prescott. We're off to Worthing now, lovely part of the country. We say hello to Paul and Anne. Uh, they messaged via the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group, which of course you can do. Um, if you're not a member of our private members group, look for Yorkshire Brass on Facebook. Send a message requesting to join the group and I will add you in. And we talk about everything brass banding in there. The odd other thing appears, sometimes they get removed, but in the main, you're brilliant. And we just look at the stuff that's going on in the brass banding world. This is a lovely piece again, which you've chosen. And Paul says, we're playing this with our band at the moment. You don't mention which band that you're in. Um, but this uh, is music which John Barry composed and Daryl Barry arranged for brass band. CWS Glasgow Band are playing here. This is the theme from out of Africa. What lovely music is that? Daryl Barry's arrangement of John Barry's Out of Africa. Lovely film theme chosen by Paul and Anne in Worthing. What am I going on about this week? Um, well, annoying sounds. I heard something the other day and I thought, well, oh, I really don't like that. And uh, 
And then I started thinking, well, there's all sorts of other sounds that people don't like as well. Um, I'm going to start with one which has always annoyed me, always. Uh, and I think it's a bit dangerous as well. And this is cars driving around with really, really loud music. And th there's one flies past our house regularly. And it just goes boom, 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 ticketing, ticketing, boom, 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 ticketing, ticketing. And you think, surely that you cannot possibly be, you know, concentrating on your driving. Whilst we're on it with cars, probably the same car has got one of these stupid exhausts on it, modifying the exhaust, and then it backfires. I don't like it anyway, and I certainly do not like it at half past 11 or midnight or six o'clock in the morning. Furthermore, I was talking to someone in the insurance industry the other day, and they were telling me that people, in general, when they do this, they do not inform their insurance company that they've modified the vehicle, which, to all intents and purposes, means that that vehicle probably is not insured. And if it was involved in an accident, an insurance company may well refuse to pay out. Um, something needs doing about those. The one thing I saw somebody mention the other day was burping. Oh, dear. Um, somebody was annoyed by the sound of a burp. A put-on burp, it said. I've seen people do this, and it's not its not very nice, is it? Um, nasty mobile ringtones. Uh, there are some horrible ones, and noisy ones as well. Some people have their ringtone turned up really loud, don't they? You know, you can hear it from like 100 yards away. Um, yeah, just horrible, some of them. Um, and on the, the, the last one for now, on hold music. Some companies... I have to ring some companies quite regularly and they've had the same on hold music for about five years uh, and it's all well and good if you're on hold for a couple of minutes but you know as well as I do at the minute that if you're trying to ring anybody you're very unlikely to get through in less than 10 minutes so you've been listening to the same music for the last five years and um, if you've got on hold music on your phones and you're responsible for it just think about changing it every now and again please if you wouldn't mind thank you so much uh, next Sal um, Fallowfield Sarah, I think they said Sally in Hallowfield then. Sarah in Fallowfield, could you please play me Ho Down from Rodeo by Aaron Copland? I think this is a brilliant piece of music, says Sarah. I do as well. Let's have a listen to the Brickhouse and Rastrick band and see what you make of it. Here we go. Ho Down from Rodeo. <laughs> Thank you. 
Brighouse and Rastrick Band playing Aaron Copland's Hoedown from Rodeo. Sarah in Fallowfield with that particular request. Stephen Barrowford's up next. I'm making my own birthday request, are they? Because nobody else will. How dare they? How dare they indeed? Uh, happy birthday, young Steve. Uh, now, this piece of music I first came across in the early 1980s, and the first time I played this, I was on SOP, uh, and I was instantly attached to the music. I thought it was absolutely super. I'd love to play this again, by the way. I haven't played it for ages, but uh, Derek Bourgeois composed this one. It's got a really little cheeky ending as well. The Williams Fairy Band are playing here for you, Steve, and the lovely piece of music that you've chosen is called Serenade. Serenade by Derek Bourgeois was played by the Williams Fairy Band as we wish happy birthday to Steve in Barrowford or Barrowford with three hours as they say over there. I love that accent. Absolutely. The land of cheese pie, chips and gravy. Can't beat it. Our second soloist of the week uh, is a flugelhorn solo for Claire in Warwick. I'm just trying to uh, work on this one. I am a flugel player. I'm having a few struggles with it but I will get there, says Claire. Could you show me how it's done on your show, please? The music is by Chuck Magnone, and Andrew Holmes is the flugel soloist with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. This is a great piece of music. Children of Sanchez.
Andrew Holmes with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, Chuck Magnoni's Children of Sanchez. Brilliant, isn't it? Claire in Warwick, good luck with that one. Good luck to your band. It's it's a real challenge, uh, but a great, great enjoyment and a lovely piece of music. Dean in Leeds is up next. He says, I'm going on my holidays, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, why, why not? You, you need your holidays. You absolutely need your holidays, a little break or whatever. I reckon every six to eight weeks, you should have at least a couple of nights away somewhere just to keep those batteries recharged. You don't have to go far, but uh, it's just nice to be away from uh, the same four walls all the time. Could you please play me a piece of music, which I'm hoping you've got a recording of? Yeah, I do, Dean, absolutely. This is by Barry Gott, and it's played by the Flowers Band. Appropriately, it's called Holiday Samba. <laughs> Samba by Barry Galt was played there by the Flowers Band and that was for Dean in Leeds. Have a good holiday my friend 
And thank you very much indeed for that particular request. We've got to the time of the week now where we play our reflective slow piece of music and a lovely one too today, chosen by our Ruth. Ruth is in Weatherby. I would love to hear the Elvira Madigan theme by a brass band. Wow. Yeah. Gough Richards made this great arrangement of Mozart's music. It's played here by the Foden's Band. Yes, TV adverts has been used on several. The Elvira Madigan theme by Mozart. That arrangement was by Gough Richards for Brass Band, played by the Foden's Band at the request of Ruth in Weatherby. Back to my little list of annoying sounds. Let, let me tell you that, that one of the first ladies, my dear wife's, hates, and that's perhaps, perhaps a heavy word, but she cannot stand two pieces of polystyrene being rubbed together. It goes right through me. So right, Yorkshire saying is that goes right through me. Um, yeah, I, 
I do get it. It's you know it's that sort of squeaky scratchiness. Um, also on the list, a grumpy old man moaning. Could be me that. <laughs> a grumpy old man moaning. Annoying sounds. Nay, nay, nay. Yeah, you, you hear it, don't you? Um, chalk on a blackboard, on nails on a blackboard, or a board, or whatever type of board you want to call it these days. Um, but yeah, uh, the squeaking sometimes that you get when certain things are on the board. Uh, the guffawing of a politician. Hear, hear! Some people don't like that. Um, yeah, I can I can understand that. Um, I heard somebody talking about this next one the other day, and I'll, I'll just leave it at this for the first hour. Um, but a, a rail grinder at night, you get you get a machine that goes up and down the railway tracks and grinds the tracks to keep them in good nick. Now I live in the right in the valley in the in the Cone Valley, and I, you, you can hear the trains from where I live going up and down. And it was out a couple of weeks ago, nearly all night, so loud. Um, and it, it does literally go right through you, this noise. Now then, the end of the first part of this week's programme brings back some fond memories for Trevor and Sheila in Halifax. And this day, we hope it does for you early as well. It does, because I'm playing on this recording. This was the uh, Brickhouse and Rastrick Band Floral Dance Reunion five years ago, March of 2017. Uh, Derek Broadbent was conducting on this recording and the, the main Brickhouse and Rastrick Band of the time joined forces with remaining members of the floral dance band now i was asked to play in the floral dance band in place of either people who sadly had passed away or people who were there who no longer were able to play it was a real real honor and i was sat there on the front row throughout the second half of the concert we played this wonderful piece of music by tchaikovsky and trevor and sheila in halifax have made the request for it to be on today's programme as it's their wedding anniversary next week. This is March Slav.
brilliant. Tchaikovsky's March Slav was played there by the Brighouse and Rastrick Floral Dance Reunion Band. I was playing on the front row on that piece. There's one bit in there where the front row of Cornets have a runner quavers and it's absolutely bang on and it's a bit sort of fanfare. I just absolutely love it. Uh, one of my favourite pieces of music. Uh, thanks again to uh, Trevor and Sheila in Halifax. Happy wedding anniversary to you both. The second part of this week's online concert here at A Bit More Yorkshire Brass it starts with a Philip Harper arrangement of music by Chick Corea. The Corey band are playing, Philip is conducting, and this lovely piece of music is called La Fiesta. Yeah, it's grand, isn't it, that? Philip Harper's arrangement of Chick Corea's La Fiesta was played by the Corey Band. The second of our rare marches this week uh, is for Peter in York. Now then, Oily, I absolutely love the show. I'm a big fan of brass band marches, and I wonder if you can find me one that I've perhaps not heard before. Well, in the first hour, you remember, we heard Stanage, the theme march of the Diggle Band, uh, and this particular march here was written for the Sellers Engineering Band by Peter Graham. The title of the march is the location of their band room. It's called Chapel Hill. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sellers Engineering Band sadly no longer with us, but I'm guessing this march called Chapel Hill was their signature march. It was written by Peter Graham and Chapel Hill, the location of, of their band room. Now, uh, the band room occupied by the Hammonds Band, by the way. That was for Peter in York, who requested a rare march on the email, yorkshirebrass at gmail.com. Pickering is our next stop and our next soloist has been requested by mary mary thank you very much indeed for your lovely message mary says i would love to hear the brilliant recording of peter roberts with the black dyke band playing the lord's prayer absolutely fabulous is this this music is by albert malott do enjoy it here we go peter roberts the soloist on the soprano cornet with the black dyke band playing the lord's prayer one of those pieces of music that makes some of the audience cry I've seen it happen Peter Roberts with the Black Dyke Band playing Albert Malott's The Lord's Prayer Mary in Pickering was in touch 
with that one. The next request is from the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. Remember, I've told you how to join that. If you're not a member, find Yorkshire Brass on Facebook. You will find my pictures. Send a request to join the group and I'll add you in. Um, this is um, a piece of music which, again, I first heard back in the 1980s. It's a good little filler, this one. It's only just over two minutes long. Um, but it's a, it's a cracking little melody. And it, it finishes with a really sort of un, unusual chord, if you like. A chord that shouldn't work. But the chord kind of sums up the title of the piece of music. This was written by Mike Davis and the Carlton Main Frickly Collier Band are playing here. Troublemaker. The Carlton Main Frickly Colliery Band play Mike Davis's Troublemaker. That was for Johnny in Wakefield. Johnny says, Oily, when I was a lad, I was always in a little bit of trouble. I'll bet you were, you little devil. Great piece of music. Thanks for requesting that. Nigel in West Houghton is up next. Uh, now a piece of music that I'm trying to get my head around at the moment. Not easy to play. S some lovely bits in this music. And uh, Nigel says, it's one of my favourites. Can I please hear Peter Graham's Shine as the Light? Absolutely, Nigel. This is played by the Yorkshire Building Society Band.
Shine as the Light by Peter Graham. The Yorkshire Building Society band were playing there for Nigel in West Houghton. Back to this list of annoying sounds. Now this one really, really does get my goat. Chewing gum noisily with the mouth wide open. Awful. Horrid. Absolutely horrid. Um, another one that is annoying only because it usually happens in the middle of the night. Um... And, and if you've got, well, I'm hoping you've got one of these, but if you've got one and it happens, it is annoying when your battery goes low on your, on your smoke detector. Never goes in the middle of the day, does it? It's three o'clock in the morning and you just hear this beep. And then about two minutes later, beep. And you think, what the hell is that? Middle of the night. And then, oh, I better go and change the battery. But like I say, never happens during the day. Uh, a fanfare. Nothing wrong with a fanfare, except if it's played on a certain flight. I'm not going to say any more than that, but if you know, you know. Uh, another thing that happens at night, usually about midnight around where we are, cats screeching. I wonder what they're up to. I have a good idea, actually. But screeching cats. Oh, dear. Now then, our second Heritage Track of the Week is for Terry. is in Napoli Bridge, uh, out near Leeds Bradford Airport. Have you, by any chance, got a recording of a piece of music by J.H. Ow? And it says O W. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you've put it. You've put it in speech marks with an exclamation. Ow, as in how dare you? Right, it's J H How, and this piece of music. Uh, yeah, I've played this too. Uh, it's a good listen. It's called Begin for Brass, and the recording I have, strangely enough, Terry, is by the Hammonds. 
Sourceworks band on this. We're going to say Hammond Saltair band there. Hammond Sourceworks band, who of course at one time were based in Appley Bridge. How appropriate. Here we go with Begin for Brass. <laughs> Hammond Sourceworks band playing there for Terry in Appley Bridge. Hammond's used to be based in Appley Bridge. That piece of music was called Begin for Brass and it was arranged by J.H. Howe, as Terry says. J.H. Howe. Thank you very much indeed, Terry. Brian. Now then, young Brian. Brian is in New Jersey in the United States of America. He sent me a lovely email saying he's picked the show up online and absolutely loves it. And he says, I've just about got to grips with your accent already now as well. And I find it quite funny. Well, very kind of you to say so. Uh, it is a bit funny, the Yorkshire accent, until you get used to it, that's for sure. Brian says, I'd love you to play this piece of music on the show if you've got it. I think there is a recording by Gramercy Brass. Yes, absolutely there is. This is a medley of pretty much all things America and it's just called American Medley. Thanks to Brian again in New Jersey for this request. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was American Medley, played by Gramercy Brass, for Brian in New Jersey in the USA. Lovely to hear from you, Brian. Thanks for listening. Test piece time now. Now, This particular piece of music first appeared as the third division test piece in the Dutch Nationals back in 2013. And by 2015, it was also the test piece here for the National Championships of Great Britain for the third section. And the following year, in 16, it turned up in the North American Championships in the third section, as well as the Belgian, the Swiss, uh, 2017, the Danish and 2018 in the Australian. Tells you something, it's a lovely piece of music. I remember working on this one, didn't play in the finals, but when I started playing again, after my long gap back in 2015, uh, this was the test piece that uh, the band were working on at the time. Written by Oliver Wyespe, played by the Corey Band. It's lovely as this, it's called The Graces of Love.
This week's test piece, played by the Corey Band, the music of Oliver YSP, The Graces of Love, was requested by Chris in Durham. I'd really like to play that piece of music again. Let's finish this list off before we go to um, th this um, lovely hymn tune that's coming up shortly. I was overseas the other week. Um, we're talking about annoying sounds, by the way. And the police vehicles... I was in Munich, but it's not just in Munich. It happens in most European capitals. You don't half know when a police van's coming your way. They are so, so loud. Louder than they need to be, really. Uh, and I'm going to finish off with this one, because this was the thing that really sort of started me going with this one, because I saw somebody on a TV show doing this. A fork scratching on a plate. Oh, the saying is, it goes right through me. Well, that certainly does. A fork scratching on a plate. Annoying sounds was this week's chosen subject. More gash for you next week. <laughs> right, hymn tune time. Sarah and Julie would like to wish their dad, John, a happy 70th birthday this week. Thank you, Dad, for everything that you do. You go above and beyond, and we would not be where we are today without your input into our lives. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, the hymn tune title, John, says it all. They've chosen an absolute cracker. This arrangement by Eric Ball is played by the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. John, happy 70th. How great thou art.
always a joy to play that hymn tune. Happy 70th birthday to a wonderful man, John. Wonderful dad to Sarah and Julie, who chose that hymn, especially How Great Thou Art, arranged by Eric Ball and played by the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. That, my friends, is just about it for another week. Show number 123 next week. Please keep those requests coming in. Do give us plenty notice if it is a dated request because we do record these shows well in advance we have to do now for uh, compliance purposes yorkshirebrass at gmail.com is our email address yorkshirebrass the name of the facebook group if you want to put a request in there uh, if you can try not to send them on messenger please uh, because there are one or two issues with delivery on those so either email or into the group would be absolutely grand nick in barnsley has the honour, as he says, of finishing the show off today because it's his birthday. He's a big film buff and loves the mu music of John Williams. And I'd love you to finish your show on the 27th of August with this particular piece of music. I'd like the Yorkshire Imperial Band recording, says Nick. Absolutely no problem. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Happy birthday, Nick. And our final piece today is the theme to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. See you next week with 123. Thanks again. ta -ra.
Thank you.